So the big question is this, how do investors like us who trade options and manage our own money generate income regardless of where the stock market goes and do it all in a way that lets us make time for the people and things we love and yet still build wealth and remain profitable? That's the question and this podcast will give you the answer. I'm your host, Kirk Duplessis, and you're listening to The Daily Call from Option Alpha. Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again from Option Alpha, and welcome back to The Daily Call. Today, we're going to go through the Thinkorswim Account Info Basics Guide, which is basically my fancy way of just saying, we're going to tell you what all those numbers in the Account Info box on the top left-hand corner of your Thinkorswim platform actually mean. So there's a couple different things inside of that box. It can be confusing because there's a lot of numbers trailing around in there, buying power, day trading limit, cash and sweep. And so what we want to do is help you understand what each of those boxes mean. So again, if you're logged into your Thinkorswim platform on your desktop, or you can even see this, I believe, in your mobile platform, this is what you'll see in that top left-hand corner. It's the account info box, which you can toggle open and you can move around in your platform. So the first box there is the option buying power box, or at least that's the first box for me because I actually have option buying power approval on my account. And basically what that does is that allows you or tells you how much money you have to go out and in many cases, buy options or sell options. Now, I think they should honestly rename this instead of option buying power, just because that has this connotation that you should be buying options with this. I think it should be options trading power. So the available funds you have to trade options, whether you buy options or whether you choose to sell options, but that's just me being nitpicky. But that's exactly what it is. It tells you that you have that amount of money to go out and start actively trading options. Now, the next one, there's a drop down box in that one. And the drop down box for net liquidity and day trading power basically shows you how much you have in net liquidity for your account. Now, the net liquidity box is a rolling five day basis that tells you how much money you've had in your account should you liquidate everything that you are trading right now. Meaning, if all the positions were closed and reversed at current prices, how much money would you be left over with? Now, this to me is the most important one because this tells us exactly how much or how little our account is growing in the future. So as much options trading activity as you have with all commissions rolled in, everything in there, your net liquidity should be growing. And that means that you should be generating money after commissions and after expenses and losing trades and all those things going out into the future. So to me, this is the most important box. Now, this also means that When I talk about position sizing, I'm always talking about position sizing as it relates to net liquidity. And that is because at the end of the day, if you closed out all your positions, how much are you left with? That's how much you should be basing your position sizing on. Now, I skipped over one in the top, so I'll go right back to it. But when you actually click on the option buying power or stock buying power, whatever your account shows, there is another box that will show or should show stock buying power. And what this will do is this will show you how much available funds you have if you were to also include margin as a part of your stock buying strategy. So if you do have a margin account and if you're able to trade on margin, not necessarily that I think you should, then that'll show in the stock buying power. So it's usually at least double what you have in your option buying or liquidity remaining for the account, but sometimes could be more. The third box down on my side is day trading buying power. And so what this tells you is this tells you how much funds you have available if you were to day trade a bunch of contracts back and forth or a bunch of stock back and forth. This is important because if you do get into the business of day trading where you're actively trading lots of contracts in and out, you want to take a look at this because the brokers will limit your available day trading power because what happens is that even though you might day trade in and out of a couple hundred shares here and there, those trades still have to clear through all the exchanges and they don't happen instantly and sometimes they can take a little bit of time to clear. So they want to make sure that all those trades do in fact clear before you have the ability to trade more funds. Now, this day trading power is typically much higher than your net liquidity, and in many cases, much higher than your options or stock buying power, because they know many cases that all of these trades will clear and should clear very easily, so they give you a lot of leeway to do that. Now, again, this is mostly for accounts that have day trading power, which is generally over $25,000. The next rundown, number four, down on our account info tab is cash and sweep vehicle. So this is exactly what it sounds like. It's basically the cash that's in your account, whether it's cash remaining or cash that you've collected from option premium selling. And it's the cash that the broker is allowed to move in and out of the sweep vehicle. So the sweep vehicle is just a fancy way of saying, look, 
many cases, many brokers, specifically Thinkorswim, will move the cash, excess cash in your account to a basically like holding tank for all accounts. And they lend that money out to other people, collect interest on it, and then they give you a portion of that. Now, don't get too crazy and, you know, get all worked up. It's very, very small interest. It's a very low risk, low investment that they're doing, but they're moving your cash back and forth between all these sweet vehicles so that it allows you to gain a little bit of interest, just very small amount of interest on the amount of cash that's just sitting in your account waiting to be deployed. Now, the last box is your available funds for trading. And this is important because the available funds for trading is very similar to or should be almost exactly the same as your option buying power, but it also tells you how much is available after the inclusion of a bunch of margin. And if you have bought margin on stock or bought options on margin, it will include that as well and how much money you have left over to basically work with. Now, if this number gets too low, that's when you start running into these maintenance calls or margin calls that you typically hear about all the time. So My suggestion has always been that you keep your account at 50% max allocation, and that means that available funds for trading should generally be around 50% of your net liquidity. And if you do that, I think you should be okay. I think you won't over-allocate. You'll have plenty of cash, plenty of cushion to withstand a lot of margin fluctuations or volatility fluctuations in the future. So hopefully this has been a good little overview. As always, if you guys have questions on the Thinkorswim platform, please let us know. And until next time, happy trading. Thanks for joining us on The Daily Call. Be sure to subscribe right now for more daily options trading ideas, strategies, and tactics to help you learn how to play smarter, more profitable trades. And if you like what we're doing, don't forget to give us a rating and a review so we can continue to bring you the best daily content possible. We'll see you again tomorrow right here on The Daily Call from OptionAlpha.com.